previous reports, the next generation main battle tank will have a crew of two instead of the three used for the Type 99A. One crew will cover the battle and the other will focus on driving. Newspaper reports on Monday said the new tank would have a reduced tonnage, but mobility and protection would be increased, as would combat capability. China's newest main battle tank has been highlighted on state television, suggesting that the fourth-generation vehicle could soon be ready for use, according to a military analyst. Footage of the new tank, though mostly covered, aired on Sunday as part of the People's Liberation Army modernization. The episode about advanced military weapons shows a tank with text that reads, the strongest on Earth's surface in the future. Song Dongping, an analyst and former military instructor, said although no details were given, some revealed that development of China's most advanced main battle tank was nearing completion. Currently, the PLA's most advanced main battle tank is the Type 99 and its upgraded version, the Type 99A. The Type 99 entered service in 2001 and more than 1,200 tanks have been built in the last two decades. The military deployed the Type 99A to the Highland border region in western China's Karakoram Mountains last year in a bid to boost combat capabilities there, state media reported. No details have been released about the progress of the fourth-generation battle tank since its development was revealed in 2016. Song said the new tank is believed to have high mobility, stealth and strong attack capabilities. It comes as the US this week unveiled its next-generation Abrams main battle tank. The Abramsks. Manufacturer General Dynamics Land Systems revealed that the tank will be provided with a conventional hybrid electric propulsion system, enabling 50% less fuel consumption and quiet mobility. Russia unveiled its most advanced main battle tank, the D-14 Armada, during the Moscow Victory Day Parade in 2015. The tank features digital equipment and an unmanned turret. Military analyst Song noted that Sunday also demonstrated a new type of fighter under development for the aircraft carrier Fajan, which was launched in June, featuring an electromagnetic catapult. It also said the PLA was developing more advanced hypersonic weapons in addition to the DF-17 medium-range missile system, which has a hypersonic glide vehicle. <laughs>